Hello primates, welcome to the zoo on this lovely Earth Day. It's Earth Day every day for me. But it's time to tell you all what I've been sitting on for years. This is part two of a multi-part series on how I want to change the world with potential infrastructure paradigm shifts. I've had good reason to want to identify the most universal term for units of use useful work energy and wanting to introduce a concept of it being the tangible commodity in a new economic system. First, a peer credit goes out to Maggot432 for providing the word jewels, which I really should have known. Thank you. Perhaps we'll be buying and selling things in denominations of jewels someday. But if we do, and I have my way, a jewel won't be measuring energy primarily in the forms of watts and BTUs, but in PSI per hour. To get a perspective of my vision for a brand new energy-based green economy, let's zoom out now to consider one aspect of the energy needs and solution being proposed for the entire planet. A supergrid is a concept that is being talked about, perhaps even seriously studied in Europe. They define it as an electrical grid running to and from everywhere dedicated to balancing the outputs of miscellaneous renewable energy resources to feed into the standard grid as demanded. As proposed, it is utter corporate profiteering madness, a complete boondoggle, and I desperately want to nip it in the bud. The concept relies on covering the planet with photovoltaic sails and very inefficient windmill concepts that, as planned, are an absurdity. There's about a hundred odd reasons why it will not work as it's been proposed so far. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Don Quixote de Ca is all worked up about windmills. And I have been for a lot longer than anyone here might believe. My own concept, a pneumatic supergrid, is somewhat similar in concept to a completely electric one instead of more overhead high-tension AC power lines, the energy would be kinetically produced by a variety of wind, wave, tide, and infrared solar powered air compressors. The grid of underground pipelines are themselves the means of energy storage that the world's PhDs have been grousing does not exist. Really. This distributed energy form is to be provided, bartered, and traded with and used as seen fit by whomever is plumbed in locally and globally. That's right, all of that hot air will finally be worth something. Owning property is not something in our society that in my opinion should go away. With the collapse or even further degradation of a debt-based monetary system, only the rich can end up being property owners because what properties produce more of than anything now are bills. To salvage that part of the dream for normal people, properties have to become proactive participants in the economy. I don't mean the stupid old real estate economic model of trying to goose a nearly fake value by adding gold-plated faucets or a new kitchen but with windmills, solar cells, infrared collectors, gray water systems, passive heating systems, and cooling systems, and more. If a community pools its jewels together, that could literally become like money in the bank. Here in the windy hills and plains of Kansas, we have a corporation commission. They hold all the cards when it comes to traditional energy. They have proven very unwilling to let consumers partake in the production of energy, thus effectively blockading a green economy here so far. Unless you are very fortunate, you are likely to be plagued with a similar silver spoon and stuffed shirt set where you live. A community does not have to put up with these robber barons if they don't want to. This paradigm works on any scale, anywhere. Now I've just given the entire world my life's fortune, simple as it is, in hard-earned pragmatic knowledge through you few. Please, if you find this information of value, copy and burn these videos just in case. 
let me explain why. I want you all to keep in mind that though th this is my own vision, I find it hard to believe that I figured this stuff out, yet no one else on the whole planet has? No, not likely. I suspect that I am behind someone else, maybe by several times, and that they have already been suppressed. Otherwise, why isn't it underway somewhere? Please share these videos with anyone smart enough to rip them to shreds. I mean that. It's time for the rubber to meet the road. I want some people in here who will judge the ideas on their own merits, point out errors, suggest improvements, and we can make modifications to the plan as we go as a community. I am truly sure that this is the way to go. The question is convincing you. Now, in the coming videos, I will share my explorations of what has been to me an astoundingly obvious plan. And in a parallel series, I'll give some educated guesses as to how, who, why. This answer, the right answer, has never seen the light of day until now. Enjoy your life, the only thing not borrowed from those yet to be.